What's up guys? Hope you all are doing well. I am here with the man, Jay Cutler. He's on the wall and here he is in real life. How you doing, brother? Good man. It's good to awesome. see you uh, in my house. In, uh... I mean, it is. It's pretty pretty cool to have yeah, yeah. have your mural up on the wall huh yeah it's kind of crazy when i uh was coming over here to start training they said we have a big surprise for you and uh this is fit club las vegas you have migrated to vegas to come out to uh to see what it's like to come inside mr olympia's house and yes. uh you know it's pretty cool that they dedicated this and uh it's really cool that we have the four-time world's strongest man in the house with the four-time Mr. Olympia champion. Which is right which is really cool and unique, and uh, you know, we're gonna do some little arm training today. So you're gonna run me through what you did for arm training or similar for Mr. Olympia. Very yeah. similar, and I think uh, you know, with your training, you're gonna notice a little of the difference. So there's a little techniques and little tweaks that I'll kind of explain as I go through. But you know, I think we have a lot of similarities on the training. The reps are a little different. Obviously the weights aren't as much as they used to be back when I was 300 pounds and uh, I feel small standing next to you a little bit, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll get it done. And uh, you know, the whole goal is to get in the gym, get as much blood in there as possible and uh, you know, have a great workout and get sore. So. I love it. Well, let's get started. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do some row press down. So we're always starting with triceps and uh, what we're trying to do is just get the blood in there. I always try to get my elbows warm. And the reason I do triceps first, is I always feel like when I have a good tricep pump, as soon as I do the first set of biceps, I got a huge pump there. And so Brian's over here chalking up. We're getting ready for some rope press downs. You, and, don't, uh, you don't chalk up? Not, not so much, man, because the gyms, the gyms don't allow that a lot. So I mean, you, I, I that's feel the like... one thing about, you know, starting in your parents' home yeah. in their basement and then, you know, moving over to your own gym. You yeah. said, you know, you train at your own facilities. Like yeah. you can do whatever you want, man. You, don't, you want some? No, it's good. Sure. Good. I'm good. I'm, it's, a I'm, good it's good chalk. Yeah. It's good chalk. <laughs> Is this your own chalk? It's not my own chalk, but it's good. Okay. Oh, that's nice. See? I knew I would get you to chalk up. Now we're ready to train. Let's yeah. go. All right, so what I'll normally do is I'm going to do um, at least a feel set. So I, I don't call things warm up because I feel like living in Vegas, like I come in the gym, I'm kind of warm anyway, but I'll get a feel of what the weight is. Now, the unique thing that I do with the row press down, okay, our goal with this is you've seen this done and you've probably done these a million times but you know you come down and you kind of spread the rope at the bottom yeah uh but with this i'm going to kneel on the floor okay? okay because i don't sometimes i feel like i use a lot of body momentum if you're standing up yeah so i'll, I'll actually drop in, we have a pad on the floor which okay. most of the time i don't use a pad to be honest okay i'm just being nice about it with you so oh <laughs> um, I, I feel like i feel like i'm okay with no pad if you're gonna so, say it like that so yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna do the pad and i'm gonna push it away from it a little bit but i'm gonna focus doing around 12 to 15 reps for the first set okay okay Sorry. nice So are you trying to keep it away from your body? I, I, I just, you know what, it's it's just body position, but I don't like to be, some people like to be a little closer. Yeah. I mean, obviously. I'm thinking, do you, you not have a wider pad? Uh, let's see. Or, we have an extra one. I'll just go with that one, because you said it like that oh, earlier. No, we got it. Yeah. He's, uh, he's double the size, so he's going to use two pads. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's probably back. light for you. So, so elbows here, good, good, perfect. Like good. that, yeah. And just twelve, you said? Yeah, fifteen. 15. Now, did the speed of the reps reps matter? Yeah, I think you know. I Was like to be a little explosive, and everyone always says like you don't control it. But to be honest, I feel like there's a lot of control. Um, even though it may not look like that. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I usually pyramid the weight up a little bit. You know, it's pretty standard. And um, hold the same rep pattern? Same rep, so I'll, I'll focus it. I'll try, always try for 12 at least. And this is kind of one of those exercises I don't think is like a power movement. Yeah. But you see at the bottom, I really try to explode the muscle. Yeah. I expect your weight to go up a pretty good amount. Okay. 
to so do this one first and then go up or more? I think I think you should go up a little bit. Okay. That was first set was light for you, I think. So just jump at what did you jump at one or two? Yeah, just one or two. I think I went one up. So. Like that? You're judging me on my weight a little bit. <laughs> no, Already man, I think you two. should do more weights. We're just one set in. I know. I think you can do it though. So I've already had my feel out set. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. He has to it's do like it. a Jay Cutler pure pressure. <laughs> I feel like the weight should go up, you know. <laughs> yeah, so you see that the horseshoe. Good. Fifteen. Yeah, arm, arms are one of those body parts I think that you could do a few more reps on. Okay. Like where I would do chest or back or whatever, I'd focus on 10, 12 reps. I feel that arms, sometimes you can do a little more uh, repetitions. You so know? you stayed a little bit higher. Is that both for triceps and biceps? Yes. Yeah, oh, I, I always felt that way because the thing is, is like even at my peak, like I would do you know, a little more weight than this, but I would okay. really try to focus on the on the feel more than what, what the weight is, you know? Gotcha. So, so you're really trying to focus on the muscle yeah, like, contraction. I know, I don't know what it looks like as I do it, because I, I know what it feels like, but like I really just try to, I'm locking for a second at the bottom, although it may not look like I actually, because I don't necessarily lock out like most people. Yeah, but you're hitting but that But the end muscle's right. actually locking out. So okay. I'm gonna try to, I just want to do this weight just to see what it feels like. <laughs> I love it. Easy, easy, good. Good. Nice. Yeah, crazy thing for me, man, I never had joint pain. Never. Never in my career. See, I've been, I've been, I feel like really fortunate with that too. Like I, I haven't ever had, I mean, knock on wood, I haven't ever had any like, oh, my elbows kill me or yeah. my knees or anything like that, where I feel like a lot of guys have that, anyone like a that lingering thing. Yeah, that, anyone that trained for a long period of time, they always have nagging injuries. So I know when I do a lot of movements, like on my channel or on Instagram, people are always like, Man, that looks like it hurts, the elbows. Yeah. But truthfully, I never had like the shoulder pain or the knee pain or, yeah. you know, elbows. That's that's awesome. Do you, th do you think you did a good job of listening to your body? I did. With training? Yes. Yeah. And I think that's important. Tissue work, stretching, avoiding exercises that hurt. Yeah, yeah, so, so it's not, you're not pushing through. I mean, if, if you were to walk in and for whatever reason, this specific exercise didn't feel yeah. good, you wouldn't just force it. You'd say, I'm gonna modify it somehow. Every like, day was different. I judged, yeah. and I always have this this rule, not every workout is a rock star workout. That's a good, that's a good rule. Yeah. That's a good rule. All right, you're so not trying to, make you're, sure we you're get focusing the, on the end goal. Make sure we yeah. get the weight on here, because he's got the, what the whole stack is right here, so. Easy work now. It's our last set right now. Good. That's a good enough? I think so, yeah. Okay. Think, uh, all right, so this is the common spell crush. You've done these before. Man, I used to do some crazy weights with this, man. Yeah? I, I would do like 245s a side, and that was, uh, you know, some people cringe because they say, oh, it hurts my elbows. But, you know, this exercise I still do to this day. I feel this is the best, probably, mass exercise to build the density in the triceps, okay? Interesting. So, so what I'm, my goal on this is to do, you know, 10 or 12 repetitions. And what I'll try to do is I'm gonna try to push my head off the end. Okay. So I, I don't keep my head actually on the pad and I'm gonna kind of just go back and I'll create kind of like a, a good stretch to the tricep, okay? So Interesting, all right. I'm gonna do a closer grip. Pretty standard, I mean, this exercise is probably in most people's routines. So head off the 
So what you'll notice on these is, uh, you know, the reps are pretty steady. Um, I'm, you know, coming up and kind of contracting a little bit, but the closer grip, okay? okay. Some people do wider, some people do closer, but for me, I always did a closer. I, sometimes I do this with dumbbells too, okay, as a variation, but we don't do a warm up set with this because we're already warm. From, from the rope. Yeah, so, okay. uh, you know, what I'll do is usually three or four straight sets of this. Okay, so the same rep pattern. Same like rep 12. pattern. I would pyramid the weight up normally. I mean, okay. I'm probably going to stick this. It's up to you if you want to go up. Okay. Okay. So try this. So I'll hand this to you. Okay. So okay. head head off the. Uh, I like to be off. I mean, that's just a technique that I like. Okay. It doesn't mean you have to do it that way. Okay. However, you'd normally do this. Like there. Yeah. Okay. So I did 12. I mean, if you can do the 15s, if you want, it's easy. I don't know what that weight feels like for you. See, your range of motion is really good. Good. Good? Yeah. Okay, so that was a fast 15. <laughs> Are you questioning the calories? No, man, no. I did. that was fast, but yeah. you know, you're very explosive, I think, because of your type of training too, but uh, what I like to do is, so usually the partner goes, I go, so that's kind of my speed. So that's the rest. That was the difference in my training with compared to a lot of other people is, you know, I always like to have shorter rest periods. So I would literally train with someone that did similar weights to me if I did train or if I was by myself, it would be pretty much if I had to adjust the weights and then I'd go right back into the next set. Again. Okay. Now with me be, being a little bit wider, that Did narrower that grip, grip Did it was bother you a little bit. So yeah. you go a little wider. Yeah, but I mean, do you think it would have the same effect as what you're talking no, about? No, I think I think you know because you're much broader than me. Yeah. So I think you know, yes, it's. I mean, it's just like when we were doing the, the row. I mean, you're like, listen, I need more space. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, you kind know, this bar thing. isn't as long to you as it is to me sure. because of the shoulder grip, you know? So do you go up and wait a little bit? I think bit? so. Okay. What do you think? Okay, so you're going to go there? Try that. Yeah, that's a little more. Is that comfortable for you? Yeah, that's good. good. Yeah, that felt a felt a, a little, little bit better, better with a little wider. Interesting. These bars, I feel like you go to different places and they have different bars, and some of them the angle yeah. is always a little bit better. You have this bar in your mm -hmm. gym? I've got a couple different ones, but one that I like better than the other ones. Yeah. Just because for whatever reason it just feels better, you know. But. Don't tell me you make your own bars now too. <laughs> No, yeah. no, I, no, not yet. Yeah, not yet. This is a heavier stack. All right, so we're gonna do the normal press down movement. So I like to cheat a little bit on this where, you know, I know people correct the form sometimes and they think, you know, you have to have your back up against something and keep your elbows by your side. What I'm really gonna do, bro, is I'm gonna lean in on this. So I actually, I have one leg and I kind of lean in, I get in it, cause I was doing a ton of weight. I yeah, mean, I would do the stack pretty easily. And I'm gonna still focus on like the 12 reps. I'm just really just trying to power through the movement, okay? Is, so there, kinda, is there a reason it's coming third? Um, because I'm really warm at this point. Okay. So I think that, 
you know, I think the mistake that a lot of people do is they they tend to do um, too heavy of movements to start out their routine, where I like to ease a little bit. I've always done that. So we talked about the, the length of, you know, going through my career without injuries and like without joint pain. Yeah. I think you really have to get your, your a little pre-exhaust into the muscle. And that's, that's why we started with the ropes, yeah. because it's not as much tension on the elbows, right? Yeah. So this is more, I would say out of all the movements, I mean, the skull crushers, because I didn't go so crazy heavy, um, especially compared to what you did. Uh, I, I don't have that that torque in the elbows, but this exercise I feel is gonna be the heaviest of what I do. It's interesting, yeah. Okay, so check out the technique and tell me what you notice and what I do, okay? This is a little, not too heavy, but, so I'm gonna lean in like this. So I'm actually gonna tuck this, this cable in on my shoulder and I'm gonna just power through. So same thing. So notice my foot position. Yeah. <laughs> I think my elbows are kind of by my side a little bit. Yeah, they are, yep. And I'm just kind of locking out. This is one of the few exercises that I actually lock out. Interesting. And squeeze the triceps. Okay. Huh. So you're, you're kind of staggered foot stance. I'm staggered, I'm in it, and I'm kind of pushing. Pushing down. down. Okay. And people would say this is wrong, but this is how I won Olympia, so. Yeah, well, it's, it's hard to argue with yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> So would, now for me, try to go on the inside. Listen, thing. however, if it's a little wider, and there's, nothing's gonna hurt it. So just see. you know, get that little stagger step in. Yeah, that's it, and just power in. I mean, this is really light so for you, I'm close. sure, but yeah. Like that. And just make sure you feel it in that long head of the tricep. So you, you're doing 15, so I think stick to the 15s. Okay. Should I lean over more? Or no, just... that's good. I mean, as long as you feel it, just all triceps. You know, not really trying to push with the shoulders, but good. You know, as long as you get, yeah, it's a lockout right there, right at the bottom, good. Good. I think that's a good team run. Yeah, it's interesting. It's a different. So some people think that you have to stand here. Yeah. And you've got to be away from it like this. Yeah. But to me, I, I, that works more of my abs and everything else where I'm, yeah. I'm in and I can do a lot of heavier weight. No, you can feel that. Yeah. I mean, on the inside there. I, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do standing dumbbell curls. For okay. some reason, I always start bicep routine with standing dumbbells. So what you're gonna notice, okay, and I'm usually right when it comes to training. Okay. You should do this first set, and you're gonna get more of a pump because your triceps are pumped already. So I have this whole thing with doing tries before biceps. So usually, I mean, I've done you know, back and biceps, chest and biceps, or shoulders and triceps. I've tried all the split routines, but what I always felt accustomed to the most successful in my routines were doing arms together, so triceps and biceps. So I would have a, a particular day just for those body parts. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a little feel set. Okay. okay I'm gonna do one exercise that's, the first set's not gonna be crazy heavy. I'm gonna focus on doing at least eight per side. Okay. So I'm gonna alternate. Yep. Some people do both at the same time, but what I'll do is I'll do, you know, supinate the wrist here, okay. and I'm gonna do standing dumbbell curls, okay? Perfect. Pretty easy. And you all, I'm not gonna be super started. strict. All all I'm not gonna be super strict. So you're gonna notice there's gonna be a little body movement. Okay. okay? Sometimes I do them seated, okay. um, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna I switch it around, okay? Perfect. So like I did the ropes, sometimes I do it so I'm a little less body momentum, but today I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing a little bit. Perfect. So I'm gonna pick a weight, just kinda go through it. Cool. So just a contraction of the bicep, not coming up too high or anything. Just getting the, get the blood in there. To be honest, I don't even really count repetitions, but. Good. Did, the, the question is, did you do 22? Oh, did I do 22? See, I didn't even count. I mean, is that, you were just, yeah. I did, okay, so I, so I lied. So I said at least eight, <laughs> but I may go up. So I'm gonna go, start at 40s. I'm gonna go to 45. You're gonna okay. go to like 75. 
So <laughs> these I mean, are like these are no, like baby that, weights. That, what you said before you started there is a, a lot of times I, I don't even count reps. I don't. So you're going off of a feeling. And I'm going off of a feel feeling, but you know it's funny because experience in the gym, you can look at a weight and say, I can do this this many times. You yeah. you you know how it is. Hundred percent. Yep. So it's a lot of minor muscle connection, but sometimes I surprise myself a little more. I mean even. <laughs> on the tricep press downs, like I said, I'm gonna shoot for eight, I did 15. Totally, yeah. Like sometimes you get that extra, you know, that extra like power in order to get the exercise done. With this, I mean, let, let's see how it feels. You know, get in there, you know, if you do 15 each arm, see how it sure. feels. Get, get a little blood in there and we'll see how it feels. I mean, I feel like you're what you're doing is you're throwing out these numbers, it's first for eight, and then we're, now you did 11, and then you're like, oh, well, just go ahead and do 15. Well, remember, I'm not used to training with anyone yeah. Particularly uh, the best, uh, the best uh, <laughs> power lifter in the world, right? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So just keep adding the all reps. Relative, keep right? all eleven. I'll be you know, I'm not gonna lie. You brought a little bit of a uh, competitive See, side to I'm me, talking, man. You know, talking about. So the old man ain't done yet. Wasting so little, right? feel good you feel it or? yeah it's it's interesting with the tricep having some blood in there first yeah. I actually really like the way that feels how many is that I don't know talking to you I lost count but I'm not stopping before your number <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make sure make sure to beat, beat the number maybe we'll have to put a rep counter 35 on the 36 that's three four cool all right, I'm going up, I'm going up. <laughs> I know what he's gonna do, he's gonna go to 55 or 65. <laughs> All right, so we're rolling with it now. Nice, dude, good. Nice work. Easy up, easy up, good. There you go. Good. All right, so we talk about bicep injuries. I mentioned I tore my upper, so I had this repaired. Yep. You can actually see, this is where it tore. You can see the split right there. Yeah. So I actually tore from that area and then once i came back i had this surgery yeah crazy thing is first day back in the gym announced i'm going to do the 2013 olympia so i sat out 2012. yep phil was the champ yep. i came in for 13. the day i started and made the announcement i went in to do chest grabbed a pair of 120s off the rack and i popped and and partially tore this bicep isn't that crazy huh and i said you know what i'm not going to go through another surgery yes I went and talked to my doctor. He's like, you know, what are you gonna do? I said, I can't postpone this. I, I have 16 weeks before the contest. So I'm gonna go do it. So I have a partial tear, you can see. see so that's what, that's what it ended up being, was a yeah, partial tear. it's there. a partial. So he said, you know what? If it comes off totally, yeah. have the surgery, but just ride it out. You're gonna come. That's crazy. And so, I, so you did 13 that way? I did 2013 with this partially torn. That's crazy. So you can see a little, you know, it's a little, it's yes. a little smaller, it's yep. shorter. Yep. But it, it did, it did affect how I trained. Well, I bet you had to compensate a lot. Yeah, well, that. I was scared yes. because now you have a partial torn bicep. 100%. When you're rowing and doing the heavy stuff and what limited me in that 13 Olympia was my back. And the That's back training, because of that. it had to be heavy to be able to compete at that level. Totally. And I couldn't pull the weight. You remember we filmed a lot that's, of it. That's crazy. That's just 50 jump. I'm gonna just do the five pound. 55's here. Oh. Jade's very good at like a subtle. It's just like kind of like, like a subtle. Okay, the 50s are over there. We do have 55s. So yeah. just so you guys caught that. It's just like a kind of you know under his breath. Oh, it's 55s. You know. So it's kind of like it's up to you to make the right choice kind of thing. I, I get it. Fair enough.
easy work. Leave those, leave those. Oh, it's, you want those? Yeah. yeah. Wow, I don't think I've seen you that before. Old man's, old man's a little motivated. Uh-oh. He's going to be sore tomorrow. <laughs> this is a little thicker grip on this one. It is. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Good, good, good. pretty as, as Brian's, but. All right, so preacher curl. So I'm gonna do a set. I'm gonna get right into it, 12 repetitions. Uh, easy enough, this is probably not too, too heavy of a weight. Okay. But we'll get the feel for it. Yeah, this is a little lighter. Good. Get it. So, one thing that people always ask me, and I don't know what, what they comment about your videos on how you train, but some people think that you need to come all the way up. Okay. And the truth is, is that's taking tension off the biceps, right? So totally. a lot of our rep ranges are fairly short. So you okay. notice that I do stuff. It doesn't look like I'm contracting, yeah. but I'm actually, I feel a peak contraction even in this position. Yeah. So I don't come all the way up and take the tension off the biceps. Right. Yeah. So tight squeeze, but so stop like here. I, I that's you feel that contract like where's your contraction, right? Where Probably do you feel there. right there? Yeah. There. Okay, so you yeah. But some people come way up, which Yeah, so make like up here. Well I mean that thing's gonna hit my arms yeah, anyway, yeah. right? So Damn hammer strength needs to make a bigger machine for Brian Shaw. <laughs> we need a Brian Shaw curl now. Squeeze it in here. Hey, have you ever seen anyone too big for the hammer strength no. curl machine before? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go up a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to go crazy. Nice. Good, good, good. So really for arms, I like that, that explosive. Explosive. Yeah. So you can drop that seat. Yeah, it's crazy. It's I can definitely feel what you're saying though with it. I feel like training the triceps first, the biceps are more, yeah. you, you like for whatever reason, you just got more blood in there, so. All right, so this exercise um, is gonna replicate the front double bicep, okay? Since we're getting Brian on a bodybuilding stage, we're gonna get him to practice his uh, front double bicep, which is the first pose. We got the mirror, the mirror right yeah, up front, so right? so we got the mirror and uh, yes. I mean. And so what we're gonna do with this, bro, is I'm actually gonna stand pretty, pretty neutral okay. in the middle okay and it's just all biceps so it's just this is the basic movement gotcha. okay yep now i'm just wondering because of the length of your how big you are how it's going to affect if you're going to be able to do that but actually i'm going to step forward a little maybe that's a little forward so okay. uh this movement just like this just a basic curl
You get it? Good. I feel it's mostly biceps, right? All biceps. Good. We need a little uh, wider. A little bit. <laughs> All right, so because um, Shaw doesn't fit in this uh, life fitness cable crossover machine, <laughs> we have to uh, kind of make our own little uh, makeshift here with the with these uh, curls. So what we're gonna do is, so for you taller people, I'm sure you get a lot of people that have the same issue on there. Uh, we're gonna actually gonna get down on the knees. And that was pointed out by one of so our can, camera guys, okay? Let me give you, I can give you that one too. Yeah, so we'll get down. So that way it's gonna allow him not to be stuck in the, in the rack. Nice, dude, good. Same weight? Same, I think. Yeah, it's more, this is such a isolation okay. on the bicep yeah. that I think that the weights really don't, don't matter as much. The problem is getting up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's always the challenge. So, good, yeah. Good. Yeah. So you notice the contraction. So we're going to focus on 12, like I said. Not a crazy amount of weight here. The weight really doesn't matter. It's all about getting the feel and that isolation of the movement. Good. I mean, Jay, the, the real question right now is, is, I mean, are you liking what you're seeing? He's, I was just hitting that. Yeah, man, it's, I think you, Boom! I think you got it, man. I mean. You know? Let me see it again. Right there. Let's just step a little closer yeah, so you can see better. Me, uh... <laughs> so I don't hit this. Damn. See, I think we, uh, I think we got something, man. I think we got something. Okay, okay. So even if you're, even if you're just saying that, nah, like man. I'm gonna. <laughs> is he? Is he? Okay. I'll take it then. So I think that I think that's pretty much my arm training, man. Like, right there. I think we got it. It's interesting. I, like I love the um, the mentality with the warming up into the training, mm -hmm. and then you kind of do like the bigger, heavier thing after you've already got a good amount of blood in the muscle. Yeah. So for example, arm. like if we did shoulders, yeah, I would do side laterals first. That's interesting. Instead of going right into a shoulder press, because listen, the shoulder is the most critical joint of the body. You lose yeah. your shoulder. You're restricted to do everything, right? Yep. Biceps, back, you know, everything. Big time. Yeah. So I like to pre exhaust a little bit with side laterals, get the blood in there, and then I start doing my heavy presses. That's how I've always trained that way. See, that's interesting. I feel like, by and large, I feel like it's put out there to do the bigger mm -hmm. multi joint movements you first. You know why? And then Because people want to be stronger. People so you're pre-exhausted going into yeah, this. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't give a shit about the weight. Yeah. The yeah. weight did never matter to me. Yeah. And that's what I think a lot of people go in the gym and like, I gotta get on the bench press first. So you like, why don't you get on like a cable crossover or get a pec deck and warm the pecs up, stretch that's it out. That's instead of going right in there. Like yeah. I always do like a hammer machine to warm up. I never yeah. go into free weights. I mean we train yeah. like it's always like a machine to warm up and then I'll start pushing the free weights. See, so yeah, that's interesting. But the longevity. I mean, right? listen, I'm still doing it, man. Yeah, and, uh, and that's, that's, I mean, that speaks volumes. Yeah. Because, I mean, from, you know, I mean, what age did you start lifting? 18, I started. 18, yeah. so it's like 18 till now, you yeah. haven't stopped at all. Never stopped, and yeah. I, to be honest, if I could not train, I'd go out of my mind. Totally, yeah. I mean, it's part of my day every day. It's like my whole day, I'm a working guy now, but yeah. I my whole day is we're still revolving around when am I gonna go to the gym and totally release yeah. that that stress and that energy. Yeah. You yeah. know, if I have a bad day and nothing like a gym session that makes it right. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's all I always said to uh, to myself when I was having a bad day, and this is you know, when I was grinding earlier in my yeah. career, I was like, you know, I can have a bad day 
but I could walk in the gym and the bar still weighs 45 pounds. Yeah, yeah. And the weights are still 45, and they don't care if I had a good day, bad yeah, day, yeah. whatever. I could just go in there, and I leave all of that at the door and walk in and put the work in, and you feel better. Yeah. You know, so I love it, man. Well, I appreciate you running me through that. It was awesome. This is something I have literally always wanted to do is train with Jay Cutler. Now it's checked off the list. And now we might have to do more of it because I feel like I've got a lot to learn, you know, putting yeah, in I, that I, muscle I'd, tension, getting the pump and all that. I'd like, to, I'd like to see your element at some point too. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Come out to Colorado, we can tour around the gym and have some fun. I, I, might, I might have to start training a little harder now, man. I'm like <laughs> a little more motivated, right? You can, see that, you can see that competitive nature coming out in me, man. That's so. awesome. Well, you guys make sure to check Jay Cutler out. It's jaycutler.com. Yeah, yeah. So, on the TV and yeah, he's got uh, got your YouTube yeah, channel, Cutler the Cast Cutler and... Cast podcast. They're getting rolling, which I was on. If you haven't checked out that episode, make sure to do so. Um, give my man some love. Hope you all are doing amazing. For now, go out and be great. We'll check you guys later. Man.